Today, I want to read to you a couple of verses from Psalm 119 and talk to you about somebody who was mocked yet comforted. Here we go. Psalm 119 verses 51 and 52, where we read this. The proud have me in great derision, yet I do not turn aside from your law. I remembered your judgments of old, O Lord, and have comforted myself. Sometimes those who choose to follow God, who love his word, and who love to meet him in his word, are mocked by the high and mighty of this world. The poet of the great Psalm 119 knew this personally. He wrote from his own experience, the proud have me in great derision. The idea is that the psalmist was mocked and reproached for his great love and trust in God's word. These proud mockers looked at him and they looked at his dedication to the word of God and they held him in great derision. And so it has ever been that those who love and trust God's word, especially with the depth and passion reflected by the psalmist in this mighty psalm, these ones are mocked by the proud who want nothing to do with God and his word. None of this shook the confidence of the psalmist. Instead, there's almost a note of defiance from him when he writes, yet I do not turn aside from your law. No matter how great the derision, the mocking that came from the proud was, he would not, he would hold faithful to God and to his word. Great harm has been done to the cause of God when believers find themselves unable to endure this great derision. Then they begin to downgrade their view of God's word and its inerrant character. Hoping to appease or impress the proud, they lead themselves and others to trust and to love God's word less. Such ones should find their strength and their comfort in these very passages, and they should declare, yet I do not turn aside from your law. After all, isn't it enough that God accepts us? Isn't it enough that he has adopted us into his family and that he sealed us for his kingdom? Must we run after the praise of every proud person who criticizes or mocks the faith? What God gives us in Jesus Christ more than outweighs the sting of the mockery from the proud. When challenged to lessen his confidence and trust in God's word by the proud mockers, the psalmist wisely responded by increasing his confidence in God's word. So he said this, I have remembered your judgments of old, O Lord, and have comforted myself. You see, by remembering these things, he comforted himself. There was specific comfort in remembering your judgments of old, O Lord. So we are comforted and strengthened in hope as we remember how God has dealt with men and has dealt with circumstances in the past. We think of his righteous judgment at Noah's flood. We think of his righteous judgment at the Tower of Babel, at the Red Sea, and against all his enemies. It reminds us that if we are on God's side, we're really on the winning side. And that is a great comfort. The proud people who hold simple believers in great derision, they might enjoy the applause and honor of some people in this present world, but they can never know the comfort that the psalmist wrote about here. You can know that comfort. Hold on to God, hold on to his word, and hold on to the memory of his great faithfulness. Thank you.